the more Hallmark movies I watch, the more I get used to the cast regulars. And when I saw that Jessie Schramm was in Royal New Year's Eve, I was really excited because I absolutely adored her in Road to Christmas. I thought she was brilliant and I was really looking forward to this one. This one's actually not a Christmas film, but it's, well, it has the basic Hallmark blueprint of a romantic festive film, but it's a little bit different for two reasons. One, it incorporates royalty. We have that strong kind of injection of privilege and it's also actually set betwixt Christmas and New Year but there are a lot of Christmas decorations still around it still has that very festive feeling so if you're looking for a well a Christmas feely film this one will still capture that magic of the festive holidays so although it's not a Hallmark Christmas film I'm still kind of considering it to be a Hallmark Christmas film so this one was actually released in 2017. It's directed by Monica Mitchell and written by Rick Garman. And as I said, it stars Jesse Schramm as Caitlin. And we have Sam Page as Jeff, or Prince Jeffrey. And the description from IMDb says, An aspiring fashion designer, that's our Caitlin, falls in love with her socialite client's prospective fiancé, Prince Jeffrey. To be honest, I wouldn't say she falls in love with him. There's even one point where it's remarked that she couldn't fall in love with somebody she's known for a week. That you can't be in love with somebody you've known for a week. But it is true that she's an aspiring fashion designer. She works for an absolutely horrible boss who I will talk about soon because the character really bugged me. Very well acted, but very irritating. And she meets this prince, but she doesn't know he is a prince for at least half an hour, I'd say. And there's that great sense of dramatic irony where we watch Jeff getting away with things. And she kind of talks down to him a little bit at the beginning. And I thought, oh no, do we have another snooty protagonist who I'm not going to like? But actually, that she got over that really quickly. And I, I soon began to really like her and felt a lot of sympathy for her with some of the problems she was facing. Prince Geoffrey, I really liked. He's your typical handsome prince who's very well off in line for the throne but quite enjoys anonymity and the idea of living a private secluded life and I love that. He is engaged to Lady Isabel who, well no that's not true, he's not engaged to Lady Isabel there's the idea that he might get engaged to Lady Isabel, but he's currently in a relationship with her and she kind of embraces the finer things and one thing leads to another, she enlists Caitlin to design her dress for her and Caitlin is an amazing designer, she's got great career prospects, but she works for Abigail. Abigail is a horrible character and she goes out of her way to basically ruin Caitlin's life. And I don't really know why. To begin with, it seemed naturally vindictive that she wanted the attention for her company. But afterwards, it just seemed unnecessarily spiteful. And I don't think it was necessarily bad writing. Because on screen, it worked. I became infuriated with her. The more infuriated with her I became, the more I wanted well for Caitlin. And obviously, the more I wanted well for Caitlin, the more I was really interested in seeing how the narrative concluded itself. So I kind of like the way her character behaved in the sense that I think it really did add something to the narrative. But I just wanted to punch her so many times. She was an absolutely atrocious, atrocious person. She is um, also a Hallmark Christmas regular as well. She's played by Cheryl Ladd. And I'm pretty sure I've seen her in a few different Hallmark films. Great performance, just awful, awful character. Sam Page as Prince Jeffrey, I really liked. This is a very elegant film. It's quite flashy. There's a lot of money. You know, everybody's quite posh and well to do. And obviously, with the fashion industry, you have a lot of really nice outfits. I mean, I, I don't know who the costume designer was, but it's a beautiful, beautiful film to look at. Uh, oh, apparently, I have just noticed actually that in the UK this aired as a Royal Christmas Ball. I was not aware of that. On Amazon Prime, UK Hallmark Channel, it is listed as a Royal New Year's Eve, which I think is a really nice title. It makes perfect sense. 
would I recommend this film? I definitely would. Caitlin as a character after the initial hiccup is really likeable. Abigail is horrific. But I think part of me loves to hate her. And Prince Jeffrey, Sam Page, brilliant, wonderful, stereotypical hallmark male love interest. But he worked very well and I was very pleased with that. I don't have any issues with this. I, I definitely recommend it. It's not the Christmassiest Christmas film, but it, it will still do the trick with getting you in the festive mood.